In this video, we're going to take a look at how from our Apple iPad, we can connect to network shares that have already been created on our Synology NAS. So with our iPad wirelessly connected to our home network, we first need to open the Files app. The Files app is divided into two parts. However, your view will be dependent on how your iPad is orientated. So as we are in landscape mode, we are presented with a sidebar on the left of the screen. If you have your iPad in portrait mode, in order for you to be able to display the file sidebar, you would need to select the files link. As you can see, we're currently viewing files and folders stored on our iPad. So let's get started by first copying a file stored on our iPad so that we can paste it into one of the network shares on our NAS. If we select the options icon, we are presented with a menu that includes a command called connect to server. When we select connect to server, we're presented with a window asking us to enter a server domain name or IP address. For this example, we will enter the IP address of our Synology NAS. When we choose Connect, we're asked to provide the login credentials for a user who is authorized to access the shares on our NAS. After entering both a username and password, when we choose Next, we're presented with a list of all of the network shares that we have created on our NAS. Let's try and open one of our network shares. If we wish to once again see the list of network shares on our Synology NAS, we simply need to select our NAS from the sidebar in Files. Let's try and open a different network share. As long as the user credentials that we've entered into our iPad have authorization to access a specific network share, that network share will open. So if we once again return to the network share called Public, and paste the document that we copied from our iPad into that share, our file will be saved to our NAS. That file can now be opened, edited, copied or deleted, just like any other file that we've saved to our NAS. Once we've finished working with the network shares on our NAS, it is considered best practice to dismount from any network shares that are open. To do this, we simply need to return to the sidebar and select the eject button to the left of our NAS. However, as our iPad has remembered our server details and our login credentials, if we once again select the options icon and then choose connect to server, a list of recent servers will be displayed. If we now select our NAS from this list, the user credentials that we previously used will be shown. So by choosing Next, our iPad will once again mount the network shares on our Synology NAS.